ओके स्टूडेंट्स यूनिट एट यूनिट एट आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रियम आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रियम सो इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसेस स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसेस एसिड एसिड डिसोसिएट्स as it dissociates to give to, to give hydroxide h plus i as it dissociate to give h plus i a hydronium ion in water right already you know that as it means that dissociates to give h plus ion protons or hydronium ion in water base the base that dissociate to give hydroxide ions in water so as it dissociate to give h plus or hydronium okay so both are same okay in water the base dissociate to give hydroxide ion in water. the strength of acids and bases the strength of acids and bases we can determine by the concentration of concentration of hydronium ions or hydroxide ions produced per mole produced per mole of the substance in dissolved in water right the strength of the acid and base can be determined by the the concentration of the hydronium ion or hydroxide ion produced per mole substance dissolved in water right so one mole substance one mole substance water will dissolve in acid or base water will dissolve in adu tharapudiya hydronium ion the concentration of the acid ion அது தரப்பிய ஹைட்ரோஆக்சைடு அயனுடைய சென்ட வச்சு மேசையும் கால்குலேட் பண்ணுங்க ரைட் ஓகே சோ தி ஆசிட்ஸ் அண்ட் பேஸ் ஆர் ஃபர்தர் கிளாசிஃபைட் இன்டு டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆசிட் ஆசிட்ஸ் ஆர் கிளாசிஃபைட் இன்டு டூ டைப்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ராங் ஆசிட் ஒன் இஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ராங் ஆசிட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் எ வீக் ஆசிட் ஸ்ட்ராங் ஆசிட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் எ வீக் ஆசிட் the strong acid the completely dissociated in water so strong acid the completely the completely dissociated the completely dissociated in water so completely dissociated in water for example hcl hcl so completely dissolved dissociated in water to give hydronium ion plus cl minus cl minus okay the weak the weak acids partially dissociated in water weak acid is a partially so partially dissociated in water for example the gas in acidic acid h3 cooh acidic acids okay so equilibrium with the ch3 coo minus plus h plus the equilibrium occurs between the dissociated ions and unionized acids unionized acids and dissociated ions okay the partially dissociated in water is a weak acid the completely dissociated in water is strong acids are you right the, the quantitative the quantitative define the the quantitative define the strength of acids and bases strength of acids 
okay so h a so a for acid acid dissociated to give h plus ion okay the h a represents acid h a represents the acid you right consider the the general equilibrium reaction h a acids dissolve in water h to o n equilibrium to give h plus ion to give h plus ion in h the accept the h plus ion in h to o so h to o converted into h to h 3 o plus h 3 o plus hydronium ion plus a minus are you right so h a and a minus is a conjugate acid base pair okay so as a as a one as a one so easily easily donate h plus ion as it as it one okay so easily accept h plus ion to hydronium ion so base one base one right so the hydronium ions donate a h plus ion so as it two as it two okay so as it one base one as it two as it one as it two base one The H two O accept the H plus ion from H A. So base two, base two. Okay. So acid one and base one is a conjugate acid base pair, and base two and acid two is a conjugate acid base pair. Are you right? So the equilibrium constant K A is equal to. The equilibrium constant K A is equal to. Already you know that the product of molar concentration of the product H three O plus A minus the power coefficient one one divided by the product of molar concentration of the reactant H A. And H two O, the power coefficient one one. So K A is equal to the hydronium ion molar concentration into A minus ion molar concentration divided by H A molar concentration into H two O molar concentration. We can omit the concentration of H two O. We can omit the concentration of H two O. Okay, since it is a large excess. Large excess in number of moles. Number of moles of H2O in one liter in one liter is equal to given mass by molecular mass 18. That is equal to 55.55 moles. So one liter of water contains. 55.55 moles of water molecules. Okay, so you will take that in here one mole per mole of substance. So per mole of substance dissolve in one water. You right? So 55.55 minus one is equal to 54.55 mole water is excess. So large excess. Large excess and essentially unchanged. Are you right? We can omit the concentration of H2O since it is a large excess. Large excess and essentially unchanged. Essentially unchanged. Therefore, Ka is equal to Ka is equal to H3O. Hydronium ion concentration in the A minus divided by H A concentration. Are you right? The hydronium ions in upper side hydronium ions. Hydronium ion concentration K A and hydronium ions is directly proportional. K A and hydronium ion concentration is directly proportional. The concentration of hydronium ion is increases. The K value are also increases. 
the strong acid completely dissociated in water the strong acid completely dissociated in water to give more concentration of hydronium ions more concentration of hydronium ions so, so the k value is increases in strong acid k value increases in strong acid so ka ka is a dissociated concentration the dissociated constant the dissociated constant in acid the dissociated constant in acids are or ionization constant dissociation constants are ionization constant in acid okay so a it is measure measure the strength of acid to so use to measure measures the strength of acid strength of an acid measure the strength of an acid right okay the difference between strong acid and weak acids so ka is here it measures the strength of acids and base the ka value is increases the acid strength are also increases Right. Okay. The difference between strong acid and weak acids. Strong acid. And weak acids. Strong acids and weak acids. Right. Difference between the, the strong acids and we class it the first one is a strong acid completely dissociated in water so completely dissociated the completely dissociated in water in aqueous solution Okay, so the strong acid is a completely dissociated in water. Now yeah, weak acid partially dissociated. Partially dissociated in water. Partially dissociated in water. The example of strong acid HCl. HClO4 hydrochloric acid perchloric acid sulfuric acid and etc and etc the example of weak acid acid formic acid formic acid acetic acid hydrofluoric acid and etc okay so third point the ka value is high high ka value the dissociation constant or ionization constant ka value is higher in strong acid high ka value in less less ka value right the fourth one example of ka value so the ka value of hcl is equal to so acid the ionization concern in acid suppose base kb base kb right so ka hcl 2 into 10 power 6 at 25 degree celsius at 25 degree celsius ka of hcl is equal to 2 into 10 power 6 the high ka value okay so the less ka value of formic acid K value of formic acid is equal to 1.8 into 10 power minus 4. 1.8 into 10 power minus 4. And K value of acetic acid CH3 COOH. Acetic acid is equal to 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 at 
25 degree Celsius. At 25 degree Celsius. Compared to gold, the formic acid is strong, stronger than acetic acid. You right? So KO value is higher than acetic acid. The formic acid KO value is higher than acetic acids. You right? So the fifth one. The fifth one. <coughs> The fifth one, the K value, K, a strong acid, K value is greater than 10. So K value is greater than 10, is a strong acid. The K value is less than 1. <coughs> less than 1, formic acid, acetic acid are also less than 1 in K value. So less than 1, weak acids and greater than 10 strong acids greater than 10 strong acids <coughs> Are you right? ok let us consider the dissociation of strong acid HCl in aqueous solution HCl the dissociation of HCl HCl is a strong acid already you know that ok so dissociate in water aqueous solution so equilibrium, the H plus ion, the proton donate the HCl to water to give hydronium ion plus Cl minus ion. Cl minus ion. HCl is a as a one. As a one. So Cl minus is a base one. Are you right? As a one, as a two. As a 2, base 1, base 2, base 2. Already you know that the hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. The strong acid completely dissociated in water. So the HCl ions 100% dissociated to give hydronium ion and Cl minus ion. Right? So cannot easily, easily occur in reverse reaction. Reverse reaction. Okay. The hundred percent possible to in this reaction is forward direction. The right direction only. Okay. So the Cl minus ion is a weak base to accept a proton is less than it. Less tendency to accept a proton. You right? So base one is a weak base. Cl minus is a weak base. You right? HCl is a strong acid. HCl is a strong acid. So Cl minus is a weak base. Okay. So the HCl is completely dissociated. If they give H plus ion in H2O to produce the hydronium ion in Cl minus. Are you right? So cannot easily give H plus ion in hydronium ion. So hydronium ion is here. Weak as a weak as a so H2O are also weak base weak base right. So HCl and HCl and Cl minus is a conjugator the conjugator acid base pair The conjugator acid base pairs. Alright? Okay. And H3O plus and H2O. So H3O plus and H2O, same conjugator acid base pairs. Okay. The, the conjugate base, the conjugate base of a strong acid is a weak base. Alright? The conjugated base, the conjugated base of a strong acid, the conjugated base of a strong acid, the conjugate base of a strong acid is a weak base. So Cl minus. So strong acid, our conjugate base, weak base of Are you right? So Cl minus is a weak base. Cl minus is a weak base. Okay, the relative strength of 
the relative strength of conjugate acid base. <coughs> The relative strength of the conjugate acid base acid base pairs acid base pairs you right okay so HCl O4 HCl O4 is a strong acid are you right so 8 minus plus 1 and plus 7 the high oxidation state chlorine high oxidation state chlorine so easily donate the H plus ion easily donate the H plus ion so HClO4 is a strong acid perchloric acid perchloric acid hydrochloric acid perchloric acid hydrochloric acid Sulfuric acid H2SO4, nitric acid HNO3, HNO3 is a strong acid. Strong acid. Are you right? And <coughs> hydronium ion H3O plus. Hydronium ion. Okay. HF, hydronium ion, hydrofluoric acid. Nitrous acid HNO2, nitrous acid and acetic acid CH3COOH, acetic acid is a weak acid. Weak acid, right? So NH3, NH3, <coughs> OH minus, OH minus. And H2 is a very weak acid. Very weak acid. Okay. So strong acid completely dissociated to give H plus ion. So weak acid so partially dissociated in water. <coughs> so very weak acid. So rarely dissociated in water. Depends upon the base. Ammonia, hydroxide ion, H2 are act as a very weak acid. Depends upon the base. Are you right? So, the conjugated base. Conjugated base. Okay. So, the conjugated base of HClO4 is a ClO4 minus. The conjugate base of HCl Cl minus. The conjugate base of H2SO4, okay, last of H plus ion, so HSO4 minus, HSO4 minus, and HNO3 conjugate base, SO, NO3 minus, NO3 minus. Okay, so according to the acid base strength concept, the strong acid, the strong acid, the conjugated base, conjugated base, the conjugated base of the strong acid is a weak base, say yeah? weak, sorry weak and weak base, say yeah? weak base, you right, so very weak base, so very strong acid, very strong acid. The conjugate base is very weak base. Very weak base. You right? The next weak acid. H3O plus. Okay, loss of H plus. So remaining H2O. H2O. HF. Loss of H plus. So F minus. So dissociated. It will give H plus ion in aqua solution. So remain NO2 minus. NO2 minus an acidic acid CH3COO minus. So weak acid. The weak acid is a conjugated base, is a weak base. Weak base. Are you right? The strong acid, the conjugate base is very weak base. The weak acid, the conjugated base are also weak base. 
okay so very weak acids very weak acids nh3 <coughs> nh3 loss of h plus ion so remaining nh2 minus nh2 minus are right okay so anion anion neutral neutral lone pair of electron having water so i as a base you right nh2 minus so removal of h plus h plus removal of h plus in aqueous solution okay so removal of h plus already one minus loss of h plus so o2 minus o2 minus and loss of h plus so h minus loss of h plus so h minus so the conjugated base the very weak acids very weak acid the conjugated base is strong base strong base are you right okay so strong acids the conjugated base is very weak base very weak acid the conjugated base is strong base in middle the weak acids the conjugated base are also weak base you right okay students the next one is ionization of water neer neer vandu water vandu ionize aagudha patti padi ionization of water already you know that in acidic solution or basic solution dissolve in water the nature of the solution depends upon the nature of the solution the water accept a proton or donate a proton in this process the little amount of water are also dissociated the little amount of water also dissociated so water h2o dissociate with the give h plus and oh minus ions so water donate a proton so act as a as a as a the another one water molecules h2o accept a proton h plus accept a proton to give hydronium ion h3 plus that water accept a proton so act as a base act as a base in overall reaction in overall reaction h plus h plus the two moles of water h2o plus h2o will gives h3o plus plus oh minus so the h2o act as a as a as a one as a one to donate a proton okay to change hydroxide ion oh minus ion is a base one base one you right so as it one base one so as it one base one so h2o accept a proton base two accept a proton base two okay the h3o plus donate a proton as it two as it two the little amount of water the little amount of water dissociated to give hydronium ion hydroxide ion the 6 in 10 power 8 water molecules water molecules water molecules dissociated the 100 million of water only the 6 number of 6 moles of water dissociated this dissociation is auto dissociation auto ionization this ionization is auto ionization so one water molecule act as a as a another one water molecule act as a base is a amphoteric nature water is a amphoteric so on both ends start as a acid and base so that act as a acid and base so called amphoteric water is a amphoteric nature 
okay this ion station is auto ionization i will write the equilibrium constant k is equal to the molar concentration of hydronium ion h3o plus into molar concentration of hydroxide ion is equal to molar concentration of hydronium ion into molar concentration of hydroxide ion divided by the molar concentration of h2o the whole square already you know that the pure liquid of pure water pure water the molar concentration of pure water and pure solid is equal to 1 The molar concentration of pure liquid in water or pure solid is equal to one. Therefore, the H2O, the whole square, are is equal to one. So the KWO, the ionic product of water KWO, is equal to H3O plus H3O plus into OH minus OH minus. So KWO is a ionic product of water. So ionic product of water. Ionic product of water. So ionic product of water KWO. Product product means multiplication. The multiplication of ionic. Multiplication of ionic. Are you right? What ion presents in water molecules? Hydronium ion and hydroxide ion. The okay, ionic product of water. Define ionic product of water. The product of molar concentration of hydronium ion and molar concentration of hydroxide ion. Molar concentration of the hydronium ion and molar concentration of the hydroxide ion. Are you right? So KW is equal to H. Hydronium ion concentration into hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, right? At twenty five degrees Celsius. At twenty. At twenty five degrees Celsius. At twenty five degrees Celsius. So water is a pure water is a neutral solution. So pure water is a neutral solution. The molar concentration of H3O plus is equal to molar concentration of hydroxide ion in pure water. In pure water, the experiment value of hydronium ion H3O plus, the experiment value of hydronium ion is equal to one into ten power minus seven. More liter inverse, more liter inverse, or more decimeter minus three. Okay, so one liter is equal to one liter is equal to one decimeter cube. One liter is equal to one decimeter cube. Are you right? So H three O plus is equal to one into ten power minus seven more liter inverse. So in a neutral solution, in a pure water, the hydronium ion concentration is equal to hydroxide ion. So the hydroxide ions, molar concentration of hydroxide ions are also one into ten power minus seven mole liter inverse mole liter inverse. Therefore, at at twenty five degrees Celsius. The ionic product of water KWO, the KWO is equal to already you know the molar concentration of hydronium ion H3O plus into the molar concentration of hydroxide ion. Okay, that is equal to one into ten power minus seven into one into ten power minus seven. Okay, that is equal to one into ten power minus fourteen mole square, mole square liter minus two, mole square liter minus two, or mole square, mole square decimeter minus six. 
mol square decimeter minus 6 at 25 degree 25 degree Celsius. Okay. Is a water dissociation process. Water dissociation process is a endothermic process. Water dissociation process is a endothermic process. Water dissociation process is a endothermic process. Okay. So all the constant, all the equilibrium constant, KWO also. Also, constant in constant temperature. Constant in constant temperature. You write law equilibrium constant. Me, for a particular temperature, la constant are. Hmm. Temperature change are more the KW will change are. Hmm. Are you right? So in endothermic process, the dissociation process, temperature is increases. Temperature is increases. The temperature is increases and also increase the molar concentration of hydronium ion and hydroxide ion to increase the molar concentration of hydronium ion and hydroxide ion concentration. So, or also increase the KW value. Are you right? The temperature increases, the KW value are also increases. The temperature increases, the KW value are also increases. Are you right? KW value are also increases. Okay, so for example, KW. <coughs> temperature in 0 degree Celsius. Temperature in degree Celsius. Right? KW KW value in 0 degree Celsius. 0 degree Celsius. Are you right? So KW value increase the temperature. The KW value are also increases. Right? 0 degree Celsius. The KW 1.14 into 10 power minus 15. Are you right? Next, the 10 degree Celsius. 10 degree 10 degree Celsius to increase the temperature. To increase the temperature. Okay. So KW value are also increases 2.95 in 10 power minus 15. Okay. The next increase the temperature 25 degree Celsius. 25 degree Celsius to increase the KW 1 in 10 power minus 14. The experiment value, experiment value, okay, 25 degrees Celsius, 1 into 10 power minus 14, then increase the temperature, the endothermic process, the temperature increases, the KW value are also increases, you right, so increase the temperature, 40 degrees Celsius, the KW value are also increases, 2.71 into 10 power minus 14, okay, KW value is increases okay the 50 degrees celsius 50 degrees celsius the kw value also increases to 5.3 into 10 power minus 14 are you right the increases the temperature the increase the molar concentration of hydronium ion and hydroxide ion so the k value also increases are you right okay In a neutral solution, in a neutral solution, in a neutral solution, are you right? So, neutral solution, for example, sodium chloride solution, okay, the hydronium ion concentration, H3O plus concentration are equal to OH minus ion concentration. In a neutral solution, hydronium ion concentration is equal to hydroxide ion concentration. Do you right? <coughs> okay, so in an acidic solution, in an acidic solution, for example, in 
in an acidic solution. Okay, example the HCl dissolved in water. HCl, the HCl, HCl dissolved in water to give H3O plus ion and hydronium ions and Cl minus ion. Okay, the little amount of water involved in auto ionization. So H2O plus H2O will give H3O plus plus OH minus ions in the acidic solution. Okay, to increase the hydronium ion concentration. So already the auto dissociation gives hydronium ion. Okay, then HCl gives hydronium ion. So increase the hydronium ion in this process. So the acidic medium, in an acidic medium, the hydronium ion concentration is greater than hydroxide ion concentration. Hydronium ion concentration is greater than hydroxide ion concentration. So in a basic solution, In yeah, a basic solution, for example, sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, you write the sodium hydroxide dissolved in water, dissolved in water to give Na plus and OH minus ion. You write, <coughs> so the small amount of water are also dissociated in auto dissociation in this process, okay, the H3O plus plus OH minus ions to increase the hydroxide ion concentration in basic solution. Okay, in a basic solution, the H3O plus ion is less than hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, in a neutral solution, the molar concentration of hydronium ion is equal to molar concentration of hydroxide ions. Are you right? So in acidic solution, the hydronium ion concentration is greater than hydroxide ion concentration. In the basic solution, in the basic solution, the hydronium ion concentration is less than hydroxide ion concentration. Hydroxide ion concentration. Are you right? The what ionic product of water, ionic product of water, KW is equal to hydronium ion concentration into hydroxide ion. The value of KW 1 into 10 power minus 14 moles per liter minus 2 at 25 degree Celsius. Okay, students, thank you. We'll meet next class.